A realistic surface water shader is quite easy to do. And it also works fine in Eevee, as you can see in this rendering. First of all, create a basic shape, such as a box or a circle. You can also add a 3D model. Add an environment texture in order to have realistic reflections in the water. If you set Eevee as rendering engine, you also have to add a light, such as a sunlight. Now, open the shading view and create a new material for the water. Set the basic color to black, specular to one, and decrease the roughness a lot. Click on the on-rendered viewport shading and set all the basic EV parameters, such as bloom, ambient occlusion, and above all, the screen space reflections property. Now we have to add some waves. We can easily do that with the bump node. First of all, we have to add a noise texture, which will define the bumpiness of the surface. Add a texture setup and set the texture coordinates like this. Now you have to adjust the properties of the noise texture. In order to have a lot of fine details, you can preview the texture by connecting it to the material output node. Set the scale, detail and roughness until you reach something like this. Now, add the bump node. The water surface becomes more rippled. But this is not enough. If you look at the water surface, you can clearly see that the surface of the water is uneven. So we have to mix two different noise textures in order to have an uneven bump map. Duplicate the texture and change the parameters. Then, mix the textures with a mix node. But we want to mix the textures in order to be visible in different areas of the surface. So we have to mask them with another noise texture. This time, the texture must have large areas of black and white. So, keep the scale small. And add a color ramp node to increase the contrast. Then, connect the texture to the factor input of the mix node. In this way, we have two different bumpiness distribution on the surface. But this is still not enough. The waves also must have different heights, so we can use the same mask to affect the strength parameter of the bump node. But, in this way, where the mask is white, the strength is 1, and where is black, the bump strength is 0. So we have to add an RGB curves node in order to lighten the blacks and darken the whites. Now we have a realist shader. The final step is to animate the mapping in order to have some moving waves.